Number 1. The Pulpuri of Shikudimi, Regional, once the largest in the world, the La Pulpuri de Shikudimi, Regional Museum is a must. Tour the massive pulp mill and get immersed in the history of the pulp industry. Go on a guided tour of the Pulpuri and learn about the Shikudimi trading post. There are over 26,000 items and works of art displayed at the museum. La Pulpuri de Shikudimi, Regional Museum also often hosts special exhibits that are well worth checking out. Also check their schedule for cultural activities and programs for the kids. Number 2. Saguenay Fjord National Park Saguenay is the gateway to the magnificent Fjord du Saguenay National Park, which is one of the best places to explore in Quebec. Not only does is there lots to do, but the scenery is spectacular. Feel like you are right in the pages of a National Geographic as you hike, ski, sail or kayak through the park. Take in the incredible scenery at any time of the year. Number 3. Fjord Museum? You don't have to go fishing to do this. You can head to the aquarium at the Musée du Fjord. The aquarium is dedicated to the Ha, Ha, Bay and all things living in it. Stare at the marine life or touch them in its touch pool. There is also an interactive screen where you can ask questions to and have a conversation with some of the fish. For something truly special, visit during feeding time. Number 4. Mont Lacvert Saguenay. Adventurists will definitely want to head to Mont Lacvert while visiting Saguenay. This winter wonderland is on the southwest outskirts of the city at the foothills on the Laurentians. Skiing, snowboarding, tubing, snowshoeing and fat biking are all offered at Mont Lacvert. The ski resort also hosts special events. The ski resort features 240 meters of vertical drops, 20 slopes and designated snowshoe trails. Number 5. Riviere du Moulin Park At any time of the year there are things to do at Parc de la Riviere du Moulin. And no matter when you visit, you can enjoy hiking or walking around this lovely park. There are 35 kilometers of maintained trails at Parc de la Riviere du Moulin, 7.2 kilometers of which are open in the winter. If you would prefer to cycle, mountain biking is also allowed. Visit with the family and enjoy a picnic while watching the kids play in the playground. Number 6. Air Defense Museum If you are interested in aviation and jet fighters, visit the Air Defense Museum. The museum happens to be the only aviation museum in the province. Snap photos of jet fighters like the North American F-86 Sabre, CF-116 Freedom Fighter, Avro-Canada CF-100 Canuck and Mikian Gurevich MiG-23. Or look at the Piasetsky H-21 helicopter or Canadair CT-133 Silver Star jet trainer. Number 7. Pyramid of Ha. Ha, it is not even close to the pyramids in Egypt, but Pyramid of Ha. Ha, is still an interesting monument to visit. The pyramid was built to commemorate the Saguenay flood that took place in 1996. The pyramid is named after the Ha. Ha, river and actually sits right near the banks of it. The 21-meter high pyramid was built by the citizens of the La Bay Borough. Number 8. Val Jalbert Historical Village Visit the Val Jalbert Historical Village to go back to 1927. The town seems to be frozen in this time, complete with staff and costumes. It is a genuine company town complete with a post office, convent school, general store and pulp mill. After wandering around the village, jump on the cable car and go to the top of the mountain. Number 9. Shikudimi's Port Area Enjoy the views and the breeze while walking along the boardwalk at Shikudimi's Port Area. The one kilometer long boardwalk is lined with restaurants and bars, but it also just a nice place for a stroll. In the summer, there is often live entertainment and even a park with a cooling off area for the kids. Visit in June and enjoy the Bose Carnival or in July for the Saguenay Beer Festival of the World. Number 10. Wild Zoo of San Felicien Although Zoo Sauvage de San Felicien is nearly a two-hour drive outside of the city, but it is well worth visiting. It is one of the largest zoos in the province and is a great place to gaze at animals. The zoo is predominantly dedicated to conservation of wildlife of the boreal climate, though there is a plethora of other animals living here. One of the main draws is its polar bears, where you can view these amazing creatures underwater. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.